Hyrobotics, today we are going to run an inverse kinematics algorithm um, that allows us uh, to uh, send our uh, end effector of our universal robot 5 in a certain position and orientation with respect of the base link uh, of uh, our robots. Okay? So, uh, before to start, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell if uh, you like uh, this kind of video. And then uh, let's uh, get uh, inside uh, the uh, topic. Okay, as you might know, know in uh, um, uh, robotics, it's uh, uh, more important to be able to run inverse kinematics uh, rather than forward kinematics. Well, um, you should already know this, but uh, the um, forward kinematics kinematics is that we set up the joint um, position uh, of our robots and then at the end effector um, for example we do uh, the uh, will go in the position that all the six joint uh, gives okay but um, you can imagine that in an industrial application you want the end effector and the particular the grasping point of your gripper to go in a certain position okay so first of all an important thing if you want that your end effector goes in a certain position, you need to determine the frame of reference, okay? So if I'm sending a message, okay, go in position 050505 in XYZ, okay, but with the respect of which frame, okay? So uh, what we can do in, and we are gonna do it in Move It, is to uh, set up the, the frame uh, to which we are referring to, okay? Usually it's gonna be base link, okay? So what is gonna be um, the, uh, where is gonna be the base link? Where is gonna be here in the base, okay? It's here. But if you want to visualize it, um, I would suggest you to uh, go in RVs and go uh, to um, uh, TF, okay, that stands for transform, and then you can see the orientation and position of, of uh, every frame, okay? And in particular, um, we are interested in the frame of base link, okay? Perfect. So you can see here that this is the frame of reference, okay? And um, this is the positive X, positive Y, and the positive Z, okay? So now, in this particular case, we want to send the end effector of uh, our robots that usually in a universal robots model is going to be tool zero, okay? That is this one. Okay, so here um, you can see here that uh, um, we have the uh, let's uh, let's open here. Okay, so here we have um, the uh, orientation and position of uh, um, the uh, end effector tool zero with respect of uh, base link, and here is going to be the orientation. Let's put it like this. Okay. Uh, so plan and execute. Uh, okay, so here you're gonna have the uh, orientation. This is the positive y of the frame of tool zero, positive x of the um, tool zero, and here you can see here the positive um, z of uh, our um, uh, our end effector, okay? So, for example, let's assume that now we want to determine what is going to be um, the um, position of uh, this link with respect of the base link. Well, what we will need to do is uh, to open on the terminal and source the environment, of course, and run a, a transform command. How can do? Let's see it. You need to run ROS2, then run, then TF2 ROS, then TF2 echo. Um, the name of uh, the, uh, the frame to which we want to refer to, 
and this is going to be uh, the base uh, link without the brackets okay remember and then uh, the um, uh, the frame that we want uh, the the real position with respect of in this case the base link that is going to be um tool zero okay let's press enter and okay you can see here that uh, um, we let's close so you're gonna see that um, you have uh, all the transformation that you need uh, in terms of uh, translation and rotation so um, you're gonna have the data in quaternion the radiance uh, and in uh, in degrees uh, this is uh, the transformation matrix uh, okay but this is uh, the important thing okay so we see that the center of uh, this and the factor is uh, with respect of uh, um, the frame uh, base link in minus 0 0.6 let's check okay and if this is one meter this is 0 point around seven this is good then in y let's say from here to here we are gonna see that is almost 0 0.5 meters let's check Okay, yes, minus 0 0.5, and then we have 0 0.3, so from here to here, this distance is going to be 0 0.3 meters, okay? And then we're going to have the orientation, so basically what uh, we can state is that we have some rotation, but but here you're going to have the rotation in radians and in uh, degrees. Uh, okay, uh, so basically uh, that's it. So what we're going to do now is uh, to run an inverse kinematics algorithm in C++ that allows this ender factor to go in this position, okay? And, uh, and then probably we can set up the orientation and uh, we can say that the orientation will be uh, 0, 0, 0, meaning that the orientation of this ender factor will be the same of uh, this. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, so this uh, is uh, our uh, universal robot uh, um, environment. So what we're gonna need here is uh, to run into the uh, our package, um, universal robot YouTube uh, simulation. Um, I'm gonna put in the top right corner um the the some uh, the, the video for for the for making up this uh, uh environment that simulates our universal robot in uh, gazebo with the controller with the camera and with the, um the gripper what we're going to do now is uh, to create uh, our c++ uh, file and uh, what we will need to do is uh, to go in the, the source folder and uh, we are going to say that we're going to call it uh, test uh, uh, inverse kinematics um, dot C++ okay so we need to put the code here okay and there we go so this is a very basic uh, code in C++ for running an uh, inverse kinematics okay so here we're gonna have uh, all the um, uh, the libraries that we need uh, to uh, include and uh, then we are going to check if uh, it's going to be set up as dependencies in our CMake list file. Well, we are going to see uh, later. Uh, and then basically we are running this uh, main function where here we just need to go through uh, ROS2 initialization and we need to uh, set up the name of this node that is going to be move group uh, interface. Then this is going to be the spinner function that is says that uh, the uh, node is uh, continuously running so we are not running once okay otherwise uh, we do the command and then it stops uh, right away okay um, then uh, then is leap for initialization and this is the most important uh, thing where we are going to set up an interface with move it okay so this means that in order to run this code, we need to have our simulation with the Move It Motion Planning plugin that is running, okay? 
So what you need to change if you wanted to use this uh, framework is going to be the name of your uh, move group interface that you have set up um, in the planning group name when you have set up your movie setup assistance. I remember you that is going to be universal robot man five manipulator. If you don't remember, you just need to go to your in, to your um, uh, config, move it configuration package and uh, check out uh, the um, universal robot SRDF that is going to be um, uh, this one, the group here. So this is the name that we are looking for. OK, um, and then here another important thing, set pose reference frame base link. OK, so this means that the position and the orientation of the target that is going to be tool zero is with respect of the reference frame. OK, then what we're going to do is run a planning scene uh, interface Okay, that allows our robot to move around the 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 uh, the, the world okay um, and then here we're gonna have we're gonna set up this message of type geometry messages okay and here we are gonna um, put uh, we're gonna compile let's say this object with orientation and position okay so this is exactly the position that we have found it before okay and this time I wanted to set up the orientation at zero so meaning that uh, um, the end effector to zero will have the same uh, orientation uh, of the base link. We're going to see in a while. Okay. Um, then here we are going to um, plan. So here we are going to set up a plan object. Okay. Then we send a request to plan. Okay. Then if the planning is a success, then we are going to use the class move group that I remember you that is uh, belonged to the class uh, um, move group uh, interface. There we go. OK. Um, and then we simply move and you will see that uh, the end effector will go to the um, uh, uh, target position okay so before to run what we need to do is to update our cmake list file and the package okay there we go so i have uh, added uh, this package geometry message that we need to the target pose and uh, move it post planning okay i have added the, the uh, executable and install the executable inside the uh, directory of uh, our uh, project okay uh, then here I have updated the, the, the package, so this is something that you need to do uh, when you are creating a new executable. And then let's uh, try to build and see what's happened. Okay, so it uh, build. Okay, don't forget to source your environment. Source. Um, because we have created a new file. OK, now we can test again. So set up our launch file, set up our environments. OK, there we go. So now what we're going to do is to open another terminal source. And then what we're going to do is to run our uh, inverse kinematics algorithm. And we are expecting that the end effector will go uh, here with the, um, uh, the orientation, same orientation of the base link. Let's run plus two run name of the package that is going to be universal youtube.sim and then the executable that is going to be test. There we go. Let's see. OK, there we go. He's moving OK with a standard um, speed. 
okay uh, I have uh, decided uh, to uh, put the end effector in uh, this position so we are not uh, risk to collide uh, with uh, this we're gonna see how to, to set up the collision object in the next um, uh, video but uh, there we go so we have our end effector that goes in that position that we have set up before but with a different orientation okay and in fact if we run um, again this um, transform we are gonna see here that we have exactly the same um, translation i have modified it for simplicity uh, but it's the same and then we have uh, the, um, uh, the, set, the the orientation that is zero in fact if we go to um, uh, rvs and we set up the tool as before So base link and then tool zero. You can see here that we have the same orientation. So the tool zero has the same orientation uh, of uh, the base link with the uh, Z axis, let's say that is pointing uh, upwards. Okay, so I, I let uh, you uh, the exercise uh, to uh, play uh, with uh, with this and uh, try to, to change the position, uh, change the uh, orientation. Um, uh, but uh, but the point here is that you uh, understand that uh, what are the parameters that you need to play with if you want to run a very basic inverse kinematics uh, algorithm. Pay attention uh, that um, if you want to uh, your robot to not collide with the, the uh, object that is surrounding the, the, the robot itself, well, you need uh, to run, uh, move it, but with uh, the uh, collision uh, object. And so we can trigger uh, some uh, algorithm for obstacle avoidance. Okay? That's all for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and put the comment down below if you want me to deal with other um, tutorial like this. And if you are taking to uh, seriously uh, becoming a robotic software engineer, seriously, um, I would suggest you uh, to um, uh, check out uh, the uh, master class um, I'm gonna put the link down below where you are gonna master everything that you need to do uh, to run a robotic industrial application in ROS2 framework so you're gonna master ROS, ROS2, move it, move it to in uh, gazebo with uh, uh, computer vision integrated uh, in 2D and uh, 3D. So feel free to check the uh, the curricula here. It's very detailed. And um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free uh, to reach me out. And uh, as always, uh, uh, keep learning robotics with Ross.